For this tutorial, we are on white box learning, looking at design specifications, specifically width of car body at axles, front or rear axles. So thus far, I've designed my car. I've made it to where I'm happy with it. So everything looks good. And throughout, you should be doing this. But what I need to do is I need to go to outputs and check my design specifications. And you can see here, anything in red is out. I am out at width of body at front axle, width of body at rear axle, and my mass. Mass is the last thing I'll worry about. I want to deal with width of body at axles first. Now, a lot of times people question what that means. Quite honestly, it's exactly what it says. The width of the body, your car body, at the axle the front or the rear axle. So let me go to engineering. If you have run into this problem, there's only one place that you can fix this. It will be the top profile. Not upper, but the top. Click on both buttons here so you can see your top. What I would recommend doing here, if you have refined solid on or rough solid, turn it off. And wheels. It's easier to turn those off. I'll leave the axles there. Please leave the axles on there. So again, the problem is the width of the car body where the axle runs through the car. Here's my rear axle. Here's my front axle. Only one of those may be off. Mine is off at both. Let's start by adjusting the rear axle, making sure that I'm on move point. Uh, if you look here, let me turn off the rear axle. I have two points here. One was hidden by the axle. I'm going to pull that clear out. And just because it's so close, for the sake of uh, a nicer looking body, I pulled both of those clear out. I'll turn my axle back on. And I'll refine solid back on. Get it done. Here's what I have at the moment. Okay. So let's go to outputs and see what that did. So I only, only changed the rear. Notice I'm good on rear width with a rear axle. Uh, so now to deal with the front, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the top profile, turn that refined solid off. These two points, I could either add another point in right on the axle, clear out here. With my design, it would look pretty bad. So I'm simply going to pull these straight up. This one's straight out. You can see it even bows out a little farther there, which is not a problem. And I'll get it done. I like to see what my car looks like to make sure I'm still happy with it. I can live with that just fine. Go to outputs, design specifications. I'm good everywhere except for my mass. Now with that, I can do a few different things. Uh, what's easiest in my mind at this point for me, I am so close. I'm just going to adjust that top profile again. You know, by adding more wood onto the car, that will adjust my mass. I'm really, really close. If I bring this out a bit, I'm adding a little bit of wood on there. If I bring this out a little bit, I'm adding a little wood here. I'm going to done outputs and see if I'm in spec. <laughs> so I'm really close. Actually, there's a few things you can do here. You could potentially add a little length to your axles which would add mass or you can adjust the actual body shape anywhere on the body shape adding wood to it of course gives you more weight so I'll go back to engineering I'm gonna go to the top profile again and you know a possible idea here I could just pull this out a little bit more in the middle and test it out here there we go 55.55 that's acceptable as far as I'm concerned and I'll leave it be at this point I would save it and test it at the competition and see how well it does so again um, that's looking at the width of the body at the front axle and width of the body at the rear axle